Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now at using the zone system, but doing it in some slightly different way to the way we've done it before. Let's just be using adjustments. So first of all, we want to have uh, a black and white thing here. And what we're going to do is if you've got the move tool selected, we want it to appear above here. So if I just click outside the picture that deselects this, which means that it will go above there. If I put in something like, um, how shall I do this? A, a way to make a thing black and white is go to the channel mixer, just change, change the RGB to grey. I often do that because it's quite reliable. Okay, there we go. There's our black and white. Now then, we want to break this down into the 0 to 10 and the 11 uh, areas. So a way to do this, let's click outside again to make sure it goes to the top and click here again and go to posterize. And now we can change the posterize level here. In fact, we can just type in 11. There we go. So now all the things here are what we wanted to see there. The zones from 0 to 11. The others, there's, there are 11 shades of grey from, from 0 to back. So what else can we do? Well, it would be nice to see um, those zones and just a quick way of doing it. Yes, I know I've given you a, a nice uh, version of this, but a, a quick and dirty way of doing that is to, to go to a rectangle, draw the rectangle here with making sure you've got a gradient that goes from black to white like this. So this has come up because I've used that before, but you could easily set that up. Uh, and now, but I want, if I want that to be in those gradient things, I just want each of that to be below the posterize. And there you go, it's put it into those posterize areas. If I wanted to have this, I could drag it all over the place and put it somewhere else, perhaps. I go to the posterize, can hit Control J, and drag that down onto the edge of that rectangle. Now I can put it above, and it stays like that. So I can turn that on and off whenever I want it. The problem with a picture like this, though, this is highly textured. You can see, let's turn that layer off there. You can see in the sky there are nice zones here. And if I put this up here, I can come along to here and I can figure out which zone that is. So I think that one is this one here. You have to count to 10, 9, 8, 7. That, that looks like the 7 there, isn't it? And then you bring it down here. And this is the next one up, which is. Eight, I think. Yes, eight. So, so you already have that as a way of finding those zones. Because these, this is the posterizing effect. You're taking the average across here. And what I can do now to get a more useful view of what's down here is simply to use a blur. And uh, what I'll do there is again, okay, I'll move to and click outside here, and I'm going to put a blur in. So I go up here and go to Gaussian Blur. And if I turn the radius up here, it looks a bit like this. Let's turn Preserve Alpha to fix those edges. Um, but this is still, you could still use it here, but it's not clear where those, those uh, zones are. But what you can do is pull it down to the bottom here. So maybe just after the channel mixer, so after it's been turned black and white, and there, now we look at those here, we can see, because these are the averages in these areas here, we have got this. And also, we can use this to see how fine a detail we want to get to. So we can say, yeah, maybe do something like that. But it's enough so we can see there. So these represent the lighter areas and so on. So it just breaks it down into three. Now I can start doing this more usefully. So let's click on this one here. And I can drag this down to look at the edge of this and say, where is this? So that one is there, isn't it? So that one is um, what's it? one, not one, two, three, four, five, is that five. Yes, so that's five. See if I can bump that up to other layers. Now, if I click on this one here and put on a curves layer, and now this is just adjusting the original one. Now when I go up and down here and see the way that it changes the those areas quite neatly. And 
if I want to make sure, by the way, that it, it, it affects it smoothly, I'll just put the blend mode here in so it's, it's not going to change the color. This is just going to go to a luminosity blend. So now, when I look at this here, I can t pick one of those. See that? That was that one there, isn't it? Maybe I want to move it down just one zone, so I need to make those two match. And I just can pull this down. I can do to be more careful about that, but see that's there we go. Let's pull that down to there. Now that I can take these layers up here, if I sh click and shift click those, I can just turn them on and off together, and I can turn off the that one separately as well. And here we are, there is our picture where we have just shifted zones very deliberately, and we have a very neat way of going pretty much from scratch, identifying zones, using the blur, and so on. That's it. Thank you very much for watching.